Welcome back, everybody, to another Taskmaster Challenge here on Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. And this is a very unique one. This is not like anything we've really done before. Uh, this one's called It's a Trap, a little homage to a famous line from Star Wars. Uh, Naval Intelligence has determined an enemy convoy of six troop transports with an escort of four light cruisers and two heavy cruisers will be moving out of the protection of air cover. Your battle cruiser is to intercept and sink the convoy, or at least that was your mission. Turns out it was bad intelligence, and uh, it's actually two battleships, four heavy cruisers, and six destroyers. We get one battleship, starting range 10,000 meters, year 1940. Uh, you are considered to have run away successfully if you are out of range of the enemy weapons. In other words, nobody is able to shoot at you. You can unlock all hulls on this one. Uh, you end the scenario as soon as you're out of range and nobody's shooting at you anymore, and you re receive points equal to the remaining structural integrity of your ship up to 100. So 100 is the max. If you're sunk, you lose. In the case we are all sunk, which I don't expect that to happen, uh, your score is how long you manage to survive according to the in-game clock. So our goal is to outrun and no longer being shot at. Uh, so... That means we're going to have to have a fast enough battle cruiser to outrun these destroyers. I'm pretty confident in being able to outrun the heavy cruisers and battleships. We also need to survive getting as little damage as possible from them until we're out of range. So uh, speed is armor. That's kind of the philosophy with battle cruisers anyway. So we're going to go with the max speed possible. Okay, so let's start with that. Into indefatigable. Let's see, what's the max speed we can get on this thing? 44. I'm curious to see whether any of these other hulls have a faster max speed. I think 44 might be the, the max for all of them. Let's go with Battlecruiser 5 and see. Yeah, I think it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be 44 no matter what. So we know that's the max. So I guess we'll go, I'm looking at the stats on these different ships. Stability, resistance, turning slowdown. Yeah, it seems like that last one's the best one. 80 there for resistance. 83 for stability. And maybe we'll go with that one. Yeah, I think we'll go with this one. Max speed. I don't know if I want to go higher on displacement or not. Bulkheads aren't going to necessarily matter because we're not. I mean, I guess we have to worry a little bit about ammo detonation. Um, yeah, I guess we'll do it. I want to see about how much this all is going to cost in terms of weight the best funnel capacity because we're going to need multiple funnels on this thing and what I'm thinking is I'm going to need firepower for sure to be able to take out those destroyers but beyond that I don't know so I went ahead and built the whole ship like so but I'm thinking that if this is all about running away then really after the first couple of minutes these guns aren't going to do me a lot of good. And there's nothing in the rules that says I have to have any more main guns than what is required by the game. So I'm thinking that I'm going to I'm going to drop most of my guns. I'll put the minimum main guns, which in this case would be two single 9-inch guns. And then I'm just going to go with some torpedoes and, and go with some speed. The torpedoes will disrupt him enough to where he kind of has to maneuver and it'll hopefully screw him up a little bit that way. And then we'll make sure that our, our speed's maxed out and our protection's as maxed out as possible. Uh, I'm also thinking that the smaller my ship is, the harder it is to hit. So we'll do this. Um, Anti-torpedo is not going to matter a whole lot because we're probably going to get out of range of his torpedoes as quickly as we can. Um, so I'll try to do things like max out the bulkheads. We're not going to worry about things like 
enhanced reloading or range finders or radar. Sonar doesn't take that much in terms of weight, so I'm not going to worry a lot about removing that. It might be nice to have to start. Uh, we've got underwater torpedo tubes already. So we're just going to throw a bunch of torpedo tubes on this thing just to get kind of spam a salvo of torpedoes to start and then run away as fast as we can. That leaves me uh, not a lot of weight available, but some. Maybe that doesn't change the weight any. The weight of the torpedoes will, but not a whole lot. How about electric torpedoes? Light shells, reduced ammo. Take up as little weight as possible with those shells. Not worried about anti-flood. I don't think the hull bottom is going to matter a whole lot unless I get hit by torpedoes. So now we're going to go with... Um, mainly I'm, I'm concerned about the deck protection. Because I figure with the belt, he's going he's gonna to penetrate at close range no matter what I've got in the belt. All right, how's our speed? 100% engine efficiency, so that's good. So let's just get out of there as quickly as we possibly can. Spam a few torpedoes and run for our lives. All right, so here we go. The first thing is I'm hoping I'm facing away from him to start, and I'm not, so that doesn't help. So we already have kind of an issue. Let's go aggressive on the torpedoes. Just get some torpedoes in the water heading in their general direction, just so I can kind of disrupt his formation a little bit. And then the problem is all it takes is one big hit from him and he can knock out probably 10, 20% of my damage because of the armor that I've got. Man, do we not get any torpedoes in the water? That's a little disappointing. There they go. Yeah, one big hit. I don't know what kind of guns he's going to have. But, I mean, we're 1940 tech, so there's got to be probably 14, 15 inch guns. So, even if I avoid the initial salvo, he lands one nice plunging shot on my deck. He could cause an ammo detonation with no trouble at all. Ooh. Alright, so set, those were sevens and nines. Those aren't even as big guns that hit me. And they're already down by 1%. Run away, boys. What are we at? 39 knots. we got another 5 knots to go to hit max speed. The less we turn, the quicker we'll get there. Oh, that hurt. 7% from a 15-inch shell. That was only 118 damage, and it already did 7% structural damage. Ugh. See, that's the thing. Even one hit can do that. Okay, we're, we're gaining speed quickly. Oh, another one. 87%, just like that. That's all it took was two hits to drop 13% on me. Now it's just a race. Oh, so many shells coming at me. Ooh. Yeah, we're up to 42 knots. My 
My torpedo is going to do anything at all? Probably not. Oh, we still got a fire raging in the front of the ship. He hit me 45 times already. Come on, get the fires put out. Like I said, all it takes though is just that one plunging shot could knock me out for big time damage if he gets an ammo detonation. Alright, they're detecting the enemy torpedoes. Which means... I guess I've got them close enough now. I was using electric, so the detection chance should have been down. Alright, we're starting to get out of range of some of the ships, or at least out of my range. Doesn't mean he can't still see me. We'll only know that when we stop seeing shells flying our direction. Oof. We're still only maxing out at about 42 knots right now. I guess none of the torpedoes are going to hit anybody. That's alright, not a huge deal. Come on baby, you can do this. Alright, we're out. We can't see him anymore. He can still see us. We still got shells coming in. Boy, it would really suck to have one do big... Ah, oh, there's a 1%. I hope that... Oh, no! I was just starting to say it would be really... It would really suck if now was the time when he landed a big hit on me. When I'm farther away. And he just did. He dropped me to 78%. Ugh. Oh. So frustrating. He's still firing. Come on, guys. Come on. Man, you're still firing at me. Still see shells coming. Let's see how much longer that lasts. I think we're almost out of range. Man, he can see me a lot longer than I can see him. Don't you dare hit me now. Jeez, I can't believe he's still still shooting at me. I'm really surprised he didn't try to pursue me with his des destroyers for a little while. Ooh. And they're still coming. Please tell me there's a... No, they're still coming. Man. He's got to be at 30 kilometers away by now. Is that the last of them? No, it's not. Jeez. That one looks a little too close to home. Oh, wow, that was close. And there's a torpedo coming at me, too. There's no way that... Like, I should have outrun the torpedoes by now. Unless his destroyers are actually catching up to me. And I just don't see them. There's none behind me. So, alright. As soon as these torpedoes disappear, 
I think we can officially declare that we're no longer being fired on. And we can consider the threat neutralized. So it's going to be 78. I don't know that that's going to be enough to win. Because somebody probably, I mean, out of five of us, there had to have been somebody who got lucky enough not to get any major hits when they got out of there. But I'm hoping it's enough to keep me from getting in last. All right. I think that's the end of that. We'll give it another minute just to make sure there aren't more torpedoes coming at us. I would guess probably not. All right, so let me know your thoughts about all that. 78 is my score. Use the comment section below. Please make sure you check out the other guys' videos. I know some of you say that you don't, but I'd really encourage you to do that. They all have great content. Uh, so don't just check out their other videos, but check out their channels as well. They do some good stuff. And uh, if you like what I do, I have a feeling you'll probably like what they do too. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again next week with another challenge.